so our root chakra, that is a very fundamental chakra that a lot of us, uh, especially who are metaphysical, might need to do a little bit of work on. I know that it's a chakra that I need to do some work on because a lot of times we're wanting to live out here, uh, but the root chakra is so important because this is our center of grounding, earth connection, physical plane reality, survival. We're here to have an a, a earth experience, so we need to be very present and focused in our bodies. So this is a good chakra for us to work on. So it's located at the base of the spine, the pubic bone area. The traditional color that's associated with it is red. So red crystals can work really well here, but um, also the, the black crystals or, or dark colored crystals work very well because of their grounding quality. Um, the glands that are associated with this uh, chakra are the um, adrenal glands. And so um, let me just kind of go through some symptoms that you might be experiencing if you have an imbalance or a blockage in that root chakra. So you might find that you're a little bit ungrounded, a little bit spaced out. Like the other day, I was, I was <laughs> running into walls because I was really spaced out. Um, that, that's a sign that you're not really work. Your, your root chakra could use a little bit of work. Um, also, if you're like fearful uh, about survival and your safety, um, it could also manifest as health problems or money problems, you know, being able to make your physical reality work. Um, also, if you find yourself to be anxious or depressed, um, or if you have addictions, those can live in this chakra and abandonment issues. Um, now, physically speaking, sciatica, poo-poo problems like diarrhea or constipation, uh, or any kind of issue you have with your hips or your knees or your legs or your um, feet, ankles, that could all be root chakra. So let's talk about some stones that can help us out here. Um, Gosh, I have to talk about black tourmaline, guys. Here's a big old chunk of black tourmaline for you. That's the kind I need when I'm running into the walls. Really <laughs> big. <laughs> now, um, here's a smaller piece that I think it might be easier to see the striations on this. All right, so black tourmaline is a really fantastic grounding stone. It's going to ground you into your body, into your reality, into the present moment so that you can be very effective in 3D. Um, I think one of the reasons I like it is because it does have that striated structure. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got these parallel lines or grooves that are recessed down the length of the stone. I love striated stones because they're a little extra powerful. They kind of act like wands. Um, these lines or striations act like channels or pathways for energies to run through the stone in an amplified way and then be delivered into that chakra like a, like a whoosh of energy. Also, is, is, uh, is, is, is that why people use selenite for grids? Because it's similar to that? It has that? Yes. Right. Okay. Absolutely. So they're really great in grids because they can be good connectors, even like between stones, because it's like these lines are like pathways of connection. So they're great. And then, you know, with selenite too, you can run it through your auric field and clear things out and seal things. But yeah, this, I think of it like a little plug that can like ground you into your, or into the earth or into your own body. But uh, one of the reasons I think we all need black tourmaline is because um, as Robert Simmons says, it is the etheric vacuum cleaner, man. This thing can go in there and transmute and clear all kinds of forms of negative energy that are going around like lower thoughts, negative emotions, even psychic attacks, spells, entities, EMS from your technology. And it can even help you to release toxins or environmental pollutants that you might've picked up. So this is gonna clear everything out. And it is a, a piezoelectric gemstone. So it has this electrical charge. It actually creates a force field around you that deflects negative energy. So this is gonna keep you nice and safe and secure on the planet. It's gonna help you um, if you really need to focus, like say you got to work on your taxes or something and you've got to be very present um, and sharp. It's going to keep you in your 3D. Uh, it's going to keep your 3D functioning very well. And if this is also a good one, if you're going through a challenging life situation and you're experiencing stress, tension, anxiety, fear, anything like that, it's going to help you to let that go so that you can be really present and focused in the moment. So it's a great stone. Now, the second one I'd like to cover, I think that this is important to talk about right now, and that's Shungite. This is my Shungite Merkaba. <laughs> now, this is a rare stone. Uh, most of them come from Russia, and it's got a secret weapon. It's got a secret ingredient in here, and that is uh, fullerene molecules. 
So fullerene molecules are very recently discovered, I think maybe back in the 90s. Um, what they are is these um, hollow carbon molecular cages that form into the shape of a dodecahedron. Ah, there you go. You need this stuff around your electronics, and we'll get to that. It's good to have that. I'm glad you have that right there. Um, yeah, so these fullerene molecules, when they were discovered, scientists got like so excited. They were on fire. They named it the molecule of the year because they were finding all kinds of applications in like scientific fields, nanotechnology, even healthcare. But what they found is that they provide a host of biological benefits as well. Um, they have antioxidant kind of properties. They they help with clearing toxins, they're protective. They are even known to um, help with cancer and slowing down the AIDS virus. So a lot of benefit to the physical body and taking care of our vessel, that's part of a, a first chakra kind of thing. But I think it's super useful right now because of the energetic protection that this stone can give us. It helps to neutralize many forms of negative energy uh, like emotions and thoughts, but it's especially useful for the EMF stuff. And since, you know, we're seeing this rollout of the 5G, uh, 5D sounds fine, but 5G, we don't know uh, what that's going to do to us. So what the scientists demonstrated was that uh, this Shun guide can diminish the negative effects of cell phone radiation. They were able to prove this. So it's recommended that um, you either wear Shun guide as jewelry or you could place shungite near the source of the EMF radiation, like your Wi-Fi router or your electronic equipment, just to help block out and mitigate some of those negative effects. So I just wanted you guys to know about this because it's one of the best stones out there for this purpose. Um, but in addition to that, it's just a highly beneficial stone for multiple levels of your being as well. So when you wear shungite, it can actually correct many different energetic imbalances in your auric field. It's known to balance your emotions back out and to give you a boost of vitality and energy. In fact, in Russia, where the stone comes from, they make shungite rooms. So they get like tiles and they make little rooms of shungite. Um, they use these in the prison system, actually. And the prison guards, when they're, they're kind of in these negative situations all day and they get really drained and fatigued and out of balance, they have them go sit in the shungite room and it rebalances their energy and it replenishes them and they come out feeling better. So Shungite, it's, got, it's something really interesting that I just wanted you all to know about and go get some. <laughs> so um, that's what I had on the um, root chakra. Should I move on up? Well, somebody was asking uh, before we move sure. on um, about black tourmaline and yeah. uh, how large of a piece should this be and how do we use it? And that was from Violet Lotus. Okay, hi, Violet Lotus. Um, yeah, now it's kind of interesting because even a smaller piece um, can, can work very well. Like a piece that's about this size is what I would normally use if I'm doing a crystal healing session with somebody. It's a good size that just fits nicely on the chakra. And even a small piece like this, if you use it intentionally, um, it, it can purify um, basically your whole auric field. Like honestly, most crystals and stones um, their energy can go out a few feet. And if you're within a few feet of just a small crystal or stone, it can be affecting you. Um, one idea, if you just wanted to do a quick cleanse of your whole body with one piece, like a small piece, this is something I just kind of discovered because the stones told me, I never read it anywhere. I do a breathing technique with the stone because I believe the energy of the stone can ride on your breath. So I literally just hold the stone to my nose and I breathe it in. <sighs> And then I send it down through my chakra column. And then I literally just breathe it into every chakra. And I start at the root and I go all the way up. And then I, then the last breath, I breathe it in and I blow it out. And I just imagine that energy going through my whole auric field. And then if you just wore a piece all day, it should keep you good all day. So you ever do that? Do you ever do that breathing thing like at Walmart and have people look at you strangely? <laughs> Uh, I haven't actually done it out in public. I usually wait till I get in the car or I'm home or something. Then I. <laughs> that's curious. I would, and I wouldn't care what people think. Yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. I got a quick question for you too, though. Um, sure. It's about pyrite, which is obviously, or py yeah, yeah, it's something that it's good for the uh, the root chakra. Why would it, it not be good for the solar plexus? Seeing how it's kind of like goldish and. Gold like it's the sun. fantastic for the solar plexus. It's okay. actually a top solar plexus stone because, um, yeah, it has the right color ray. And it's also a very a, a masculine 
type of a stone because it forms in these geometric cubes and shapes. So it has a resonance with um, things like willpower and strength and a lot of things that are um, associated with the solar plexus. So I would definitely consider that a solar plexus stone as well as okay. a root.